Welcome back. Time to talk about athletics and what is going on in preparations for the Commonwealth Games and a whole lot. Yemi Oluz, she is in the studio. And of course, we have Jay Udo Gabriel. She's also in the studio. One of the athletes that was picked for the Commonwealth Games, precisely in the 100 meters. Mm. Yemi, good morning. Good to have you. It's, it's great to be here. I know it's been a while, so I'm really happy to be back. Good joy, job. joy. Thank you, Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Cecilia. You know oh, what it, it means to like have a dream and you just have it coming true? Just like that. Just like that, Cecilia. Just like that. Incre incredible stuff. <laughs> She's going to be our focus today, right? You hear me? Okay, you're the guest. Yeah. I understand. We'll it's allowed. It's allowed. Don't but worry. Joy, I mean... <laughs> Don't feel too left out. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll be fine. Don't You'll worry. be fine. Yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's, okay. Okay, what do you want to do first of Okay, all? first, I mean, what she said, you know, Yemi actually interviewed her, Yemi's from Making Up Champions, athletics writer, right. you know, when she was going to compete at the trials mm. in Abuja, like, okay, what are your aims? What's your plan? What if you don't qualify? And there was something she said about, look, there's no two words about it. She just has to make the list for the Commonwealth Games. Listen. Is it to you to make the Commonwealth Games team? I just have to make the team. That's going to be my first international competition. Imagine I just make it. I just make it. I'll be so happy. And I'm going to give it my best because it's my first international competition. So you wouldn't want to disappoint Nigerians. So I, I will just put in my best. And of course, the okay. best was really good enough. And she got what she wanted. Joy, I mean, the confidence level you had when you were talking to Yemi, like, I just have to make it. Where did it come from? Well, I just said it out of confidence because I've been training. So when you've been training so hard, you have to be very confident. Mm. Like my coach always says, when you put in the work, you get the results. Right. Just you put in a lot of work and you have qualified to represent Nigeria at the Commonwealth Games. Before we continue with our conversation uh, with Yemi and Joy, uh, let's just, uh, you know, just um, uh, let you get, cool, get to know uh, Joy uh, a, a lot uh, better. And uh, she's just 18 years old and uh, she's going to represent Nigeria uh, at the Commonwealth Games. Uh, 18, Joy Udo Gabriel, 18-year-old student as well. So let me put that from the University of Lagos. So it's major for uh, making of chance, uh, your first ever athlete to represent Nigeria. Yemi can attest to that one there. The disciplines are 100 meters, uh, 200 four by hundred personal best is 11.65 season best uh, same time that was run at the commonwealth games uh, trials trial. yeah, in so, the semis let's go back to that one that's where you were able to uh to qualify uh to represent nigeria take us through um from the eats to the semis and to the final how was it like for you well the hit was actually a very nice experience for me because it was tough too and then in the semis too, it was nice. I was able to do, I was able to repeat my personal best of 11.65. And then in the finals, I came third and I was able to do 11.70. So I am still there. Sure. Okay. Now that's a good one, a good way to start. Because, you know, uh, Yemi, when, when, the, uh, when we heard about the uh, Commonwealth Games trials in Abuja, now that was supposed to start on the... Wednesday, mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, you know, the main event starts and then suddenly we had Tuesday and all that. Then back to I mean, Wednesday. The, the, most of the athletes that were there, how distracted was it? Did it really affect most of them? I think it was a bit distracting, but what helped was the fact that um, athletes had already been in camp prior to the Commonwealth Games trials. Wow. And um, of course, since they were already in camp, you know, following the first trials held in December, you know, the Federation already had, you know, eyes on those people. So the bulk of athletes who really needed to compete or who already had um, good prospects were already in camp and they arrived um, Abuja early for the competition. So the bulk of athletes were already there. So that was what really helped. But a few others, of course, you know, it would have been quite difficult for them, you know, to keep up with the timing and all of that. All of that. Okay, uh, Joy, for you, I mean, how was it like um, when you knew we were supposed to compete on a particular day, but it was shifted earlier? Did it affect you in any way? What was it like? No, uh, it didn't affect me. I was even very happy they moved it. Oh, why? Why is that? Because it gave me more time, time to, to think prepare. about okay. how to run the race and things I needed to put in. Mm. Interesting. So, yeah. Interesting. Now that you've qualified uh, for uh, for the Commonwealth Games, and um, I imagine, I suspect, um, you've set a personal target uh, for yourself. Realistically, uh, how fast uh, can you go before uh, the games begin in April? You're, you're on 11 now, 65 now. That's your 
our season best? Yeah. How fast can you go? Well, I think I can go below 11.65. I can do an 11.4. Wow. Okay. Yeah, with that's quality a good training, I okay. should be able to do an 11.4 confidently. Before April. Because April is just around the corner. April is less, <laughs> it's less than 36 game days uh, to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, I can also just come in and say, like, right. we've all seen so far, you know, the season is still quite young. Yes. Right. It's still early. Very, so very athletes early. are definitely set to run faster. You know, as a year. yeah, as we move, as we approach the Commonwealth Games, right. and then even after that, you know, this is just February. So mm -hmm. definitely, the aim is for them to go faster before the Commonwealth Games. Now, I mean, we understand sometimes you don't have to rely on Federation to actually provide most of, you know, the training mm -hmm. and all that, all the things you want. Yet now, Yemi, what has Making of Champions done to really ensure that maybe she gets a fast start time, maybe go for two or three competitions, if it's possible, before, you know, the usual campaign that will begin in March? Unfortunately, that might not be possible because um, information reaching me suggests that they'll be traveling soon, you know, probably by weekend or next week because they'll also go on training tour, you mm -hmm. know, and then arrive Australia early, you know, to prepare, acclimatize and, you know, just get ready generally before the competition. So I'm not sure right now, you know, making of champions is really in a position to do anything right okay. now, you know, except what they've done prior to the okay. Commonwealth Games, you know, they've laid the foundation. So now the Federation will build on that. Okay, uh, Joe, what are the things you really want the Federation to do, you know, to ensure that you get that time? You're talking about 11.04 if it's possible for you. Well, I just feel the Federation to just, like, give us just quality training. That's the all. Quality training will make you run faster. But the ones you've had so far, how has it been, like? Well, my training so far has been very wonderful, you know, training with DJ Aliu. Right. So, that's the coach? Yes, that's my coach. Wow. Yes. Yeah, well, what, a, what a man to learn from. <laughs> um, arguably one of the best uh, sprinters to come out of Nigeria. Nigeria so. yeah. Yeah. He's MOC's head coach. Okay. 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 Let's be still on you now. I mean, what, what is, um, you're still very young. You're still yeah. learning. You're still very raw. And um, obviously there are things you still need to improve on. Um, in terms of your, uh, uh, in terms of the 100 meters, uh, what are those things that you still need to uh, improve on to, you know, to get to that next level? I mean, your, your starting phase, is it, is it at that level you wanted to be at, and your acceleration phase, and, and those, all those other things? Which ones do you still need to uh, work on? Well, for the 100 meters, I think I need to work more on the finishing. The finishing, okay. Yeah, that's very important, because when I start well, yeah, I start well, I start, and then I accelerate, and then I am supposed to be faster after the acceleration phase. But the custom speed space, yes, okay? Yeah, but mine isn't like that. I just have problems with the finishing. So my coach and I are still working on it. Mm. So with time, I'll get better. Yeah, with time. obviously with time. Now, right. let's talk about your education. We know how difficult it is when yeah. you're in school in Nigeria. <laughs> you're also an athlete. I mean, yeah. it's most times you just can't cope. How do you cope? You're a uni lag. Mm. Yeah, I, I, it's not easy, it's honestly. It's not easy. So, but when you're determined to get something, you want to achieve a particular thing, there will be no distractions and then you just go for it. It is actually what you want. Mm. So, yeah, it's not easy. It's never going to be easy. Like my coach will always say, it's never going to be easy. So you just have to right. try and put in the work and so you get the results. Wow. And I think that's what I got. I, I put in the work <laughs> and then I got the results. Right, despite yeah. the fact that you have to deal uh, with all the lecturers in, uh, in Unilag and all that. Um, I mean, your, uh, your, your grades are distant, I, I imagine? For now, we've not written our ex first semester exams okay, yet. So. so First year, okay. Yeah, my okay. first year. Uh, that, that's what was going to call me because yeah. I know, you know when you're just getting in, sometimes you feel you have all the time. Yes, time. You know, as the time goes on, you know, it's the second it year, ethic. the third year and all that. That's when the peak, that's when it starts. And sometimes, you know, your school wouldn't really give you that time, you know, to want to go compete. Mm. Sometimes when you come back, when you miss a finish writing the test, you don't have to start writing your own. How will you be able to manage that? Well, we have not really written tests and all mm, of that. Mm. When but, the time comes. Yeah, we, when the time comes. It's still fresh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. It's still a lot of time. Yeah, so right. when the time comes, <laughs> it'll be sorted out. Right. It will be. I love that. Yeah. Now, I mean, is there going to be any support that will come from you guys' side for that? Because we know as time goes on, we know how difficult it's going to be. Um, well, first of all, since for now, she's going um, for the Commonwealth Games and all of that. So I'm um, sure her school is already aware. 
And then I think Unilag, to a large extent, is one of the few schools that um, takes sports very yeah. seriously as well, you know, Relatively. a few of them. Yeah. So those things have already been, at least you've made provisions for that already, they're aware and then right. they know. So that it doesn't become an issue eventually, you know, by the time she needs to miss school, you know, because of, because this is also a great opportunity, you know, Big, traveling out for yeah. the first time making the senior team. Mm. So in terms of that, well, we're particular about that as much as possible, that even the schools, you know, the athletes go to our athletes go to our sports friendly, you know, because it's very important because education is very important right. to us, you know, as well as them excelling in sports as well. So you have to look for schools that are really, that will cooperate in this respect. Right. Okay. And that's why she's Finding come to right Okay, quickly, before we, um, before we go, um, Rosemary Chukuma, another young star uh, that has made a team uh, to the Commonwealth Games. 18 years or 17 years old as well too. I mean, both of you are young stars. Huh? Do you, how do you push each other? Do you guys push each other? Is there, is there a healthy rivalry going on between uh, you and Rosemary? Well, yeah. There is. The rivalry is just very healthy. No, no beef. Okay. So, <laughs> <I'm> so, <laughs> from my side though. Right. So you just, but you, you, you push each other uh, yeah. to be the best. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we do. Interesting. Okay. And now let's switch to some other athletes that will, be, that will not be going to the Commonwealth Games before we talk about the indoor championship. Talking okay. about Shea Ogunlewe. I mean, mm. you guys mentioned it on Friday concerning the fact that you were there in Abuja. I mean, he said he had a cramp, so he couldn't. We well, had the best time. Were you surprised that he didn't make the list of the Commonwealth Games? Ah, well, I was surprised, but again, I thought of saw it coming, right? Because being there in Abuja, he ran the heats, he ran the semis, and then um, he did not run the final. So, of course, that was bound to create some kind of problem. Mm. So, it's, it's a very dicey situation because you're looking at things from different perspectives. Right. On the part of Shea, he only opened the season at the Commonwealth Games Trials. He's not competed prior to that. So, I think, and um, he's returning from an injury, so he was probably trying to be careful, you know, not to push himself so hard, you know, so that he doesn't get injured. Mm. And then on the part of the Federation too, they look at it from the point of view, okay, you were at the trials, but you didn't run the final, you know, and you're meant to pick people who qualified, you know, after running all races, and they wouldn't want to set a bad precedent as well. So it's a very dicey situation, but maybe anything can still happen, we're watching out to see. Yeah, but okay. uh, okay. He, he's, um, he said um, uh, the time, the rest time, uh, between the semis and the final uh, was too short. That was his main uh, grouse. And he didn't want to risk, um, he said he had cramp. I didn't want to risk uh, for the uh, injury. I mean, what could have the, the Federation, what could have done uh, to avoid that kind of situation? I mean, why not just uh, give enough time? What was the difference? What was the minutes they asked between the semis and the final? Um, I think it was probably about maybe less than 40 minutes or less there than, Between the semi-final that, that and the there final. Out. That is short. Typically, I see... What was I mean, the temperature like in Abuja? Oh, well, it was, it was, it was normal. Well, it was quite hot. Abuja is usually yeah. very hot. What so it, was, it, was, it was quite... No, not up to... Uh, I do not think 30, it was up to 30-something. 30, 30, 30, 30 and but you have 40 minutes between semi-finals mm -hmm. and final. I'm not but sure Because okay. typically... <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. I don't expect it's a, it's, it's, Like I said, it's, it's a dicey nice situation, <laughs> yeah. really. You know, we are looking at things from both well, points. Since so. we have an athlete in the studio, I think we should just go to... I mean... <laughs> yeah, I mean, how, like, how many, how many, oh, how many Recovery minutes time. do you think you need, or hours, do you think do you need to rest uh, in between our uh, races? I know that might take uh, a few uh, minutes to answer that, but so that's why you need to hold your thoughts, and uh, let's go on this break, and we'll come back, uh, Joy uh, Udo Gabriel will be answering that question. You're welcome back to Channel Sport this morning. We're still talking about athletics, and we're trying to, uh, you know, ascertain uh, uh, the, the ideal time, the ideal rest time uh, in between races, uh, especially when you're doing the sprint. And Joy uh, Udo Gabriel, uh, she's uh, on the art seat. And what, what do you make of all of this? And you personally, uh, how long do you take uh, to rest and recover fully in between races? Well, for me, I just feel like an hour and the half would would do. Decent. Yes, for mm. recovery. Mm. An hour and a half. An hour and a half. Yes. That's the thing. Minutes? I, I said, I mean, if it's I'm an athlete, close. give me an hour. I'm not going to run. Because <laughs> I'm not saying, run. Because at the end of the day, you, it, it, this season is just starting. Mm. You talked about the fact that this is his, I mean, this is his first race 
of the season. I mean, this is, you don't even need to run faster time at this time because of what's going to happen later. Now, if you, and you return like 10.31 seconds in the heat. Then in the heat, then the other one was 10.4 in, in the semis. And that's a, that's a remarkable decent, time, yeah. very decent starting the season. And you're not giving an athlete like that 40 minutes to recover, to run a final. It's dicey. Yeah. That's but why do they have to do that? I mean, why, why, would they have, why do you think they have to do that, like choking everything together? Well, probably because of, well, timing of events, timing. more or less, you know. They lost the day already, remember? Not really, no. not really. It started because, earlier than um, expected. Okay. Yeah, it was still, competition was still three days, right? Mm -hmm. Wednesday to Friday. So I think there was still, the heats were run on, Mon on the first day, on Wednesday, Wednesday. semis mm -hmm. and final on Thursday. Right. So I don't think things were choked as such. Yeah, so obviously you think the, the, the technical uh, department of the F and should know better than a lot of us um, in terms of this uh, kind of situation. Yeah, probably the kind of things to work, work on, on, you know, really? okay, stop going, going forward. Because we've attended several trials. We've never seen we've that seen kind of time. We've seen maybe semis in the morning. As well. uh, no, we're not talking about international. Let's talk about AFN okay. now. Nigeria. Talking Nigeria. about Nigeria now. Right. We've, we've attended several trials. I mean, even normal golden meets and all that. Mm. We've seen the weights done. You usually don't have such short time. Sometimes they have like, maybe in the morning they have the semis and later in the evening, mm. when that cool evening from four, five, they have the finals. That's what we've seen. So I'm like, why did this have to happen? And it's not like it's in other states. It's in Abuja where the weather can be very hot. Exactly? So okay. That's, oh. okay, that's okay. it for that that's one. For before, that one yeah. before we just uh, round <laughs> it all off, um, the IWF world in does, um, um, it's just upon us. Um, yeah. So we love our emotion. Uh, we'll be, you know, headlining uh, Nigeria's team to Birmingham. Um, what are your, any uh, your expectations? Uh, how high are they uh, for these um, indoors? And that's the Team Nigeria um, going to Birmingham for the world indoors. And Toby Loba, uh, almost strong, like I said, uh, the hodler uh, was at, was at a decent 2018. Uh, we'll be headlining that list. We also have uh, Chukwe Buka and Nekachi. That's the short put, uh, Chiri Okeze. Uh, you have Patience, Okon George, uh, the veteran, and Lindsay Lindley. I mean, from all these guys uh, on the list, um, where realistically uh, will matters come from? Uh, talking about um, high expectations, right. I'm not sure, you know, this would be the time to have high expectations. Okay. It's just good for them to go compete and let's see what they can do prior to the Commonwealth Games. You know, like we all agree, this is early in the season, but they've done well for themselves, you mm. know, so far this season. Toby is number eight on the world rankings right. this um, year. Chukwe Buka is number 12 in the world, you know, and a couple of others like mm. that. Yeah, so we just want to see how fast they can go, and then you can see, okay, what shape they are in, in. you know, prior to the Commonwealth Games. I think right. for me, the world industry should be used as preparation for the Commonwealth Games, mm. since that seems to be like our biggest competition, you know, this year. That's where we're eyeing, <laughs> that's where we're setting our sights, we're hoping for a lot from the Commonwealth Games. So I think the world industry will just be used to assess um, their performance yeah. and where they are, you know ahead of the Commonwealth Games. Because if you look at it, a lot of countries are not even sending many people. Yeah, yeah. South Africa, for example, is sending like a team of just six. Ethiopia, their team is not up to 10. You know, I think it's only the US, for example, that's coming as they usual. You know, they'll come now. with yeah. many Large people. Continue. You know, and everything. then the UK. Yeah. But every other person, I think, they're just being careful. And yeah, just a few people competing the, at the world. The four by four? The four by four, yeah, we have Patience, mm -hmm. Inka Jai, um, Glory, Nathaniel. Glory Nathaniel, and um, Emerald. Emerald Eguim. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think, I think, yeah, yeah. that should be that a good chance. Be, yeah. But we also remember that some of these athletes um, are running indoors for the first time. Um, you yes. know, aside maybe Patience. Right. So they will need to be put through. You know, yeah, there's this a bit of difference is, uh, between indoors yeah, exactly and the outdoors, indoors yeah. and outdoors. Mm -hmm. So I mean, they should just try as much as possible to put them through ahead of right. the release. You know, okay. our, our women four by four relay team has been the most consistent yeah. in like three well, years, well, three yes, four now. years. You know, they've been okay. very consistent. Okay. So yeah, it will be good to see what they place there. But again, ultimately, I feel the goal should be working towards the Commonwealth Games. Absolutely. Thank you very much for coming. Last word before we go, uh, enjoy. Uh, um, your targets and for the Commonwealth Games? Yeah, my targets would be to run a personal best. Right, straightforward. Yeah, and do my best. That's do your all. best, personal best. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for coming on the show. Wish you all the best uh, with that uh, joy. Ayemi, thanks for coming on the show. Yeah, as it's well, been so. great being here. Appreciate it.